Hi guys, I am back with another video again. Um, I am going to talk about, um, I am just looking at the weather right now because it is a winter weather advisory. So, um, <laughs> that's pretty scary. Anyway, so this, this video is going to be about a more in-depth video about my legs and my back. Um, so, when I was little, um, I used to go to, um, the hanger clinic, and it is basically for prosthetics and orthotics. I don't know if I'm saying those words right, but, um, I don't know if I'm saying those words right, but it's for prosthetics and orthotics, and I have flat feet, and, yes, I am bringing my foot in this video. <laughs> Um, my feet, um, my arch in my feet, that is right here, um, it doesn't have, like, in a arch, and, like, my flat, my feet is like this, and you know how some people have an arch, on, like, an arch, like, up on their feet, um, yeah, my arch is like flat and um, that brings a lot of problems for me because I need to wear inserts in my feet which will keep my arch up and support it. I can't wear, I can't wear shoes like, like sandals or like, no, I can't wear shoes without like inserts and um i've been going there like ever since i was like two or three years old and like they make like molds and like they make um they make a uh, like like just like an insert that goes inside your shoe um to support your arch and um i was born with flat feet and um that's why i my feet came out wrong when I was born and um, they wanted to do surgery on my feet and a Indian doctor came to my preschool that I was going to go to. I, I went to a therapeutic preschool and um, a Indian doctor came to the preschool and they um, they told them to give to give me a life jacket and to throw me out in the water. And so um, they have a pool at the school for you know like water therapy for exercise, water exercise therapy, whatever for the children. And um, so they threw me out in the water, and um, the doctor said that I don't need surgery. I need like long-term therapy um because they saw me like moving my body and actually moving my legs and they said that i don't need surgery i need a uh, long-term therapy and i took therapy for about like four years four and a half years and i am walking today without surgery but um my doctor I can't sit long, I can't stand long, especially standing. I can't stand long for more than 30 minutes. I can't like, um, I will talk about sitting in a minute, but I can't stand long, I can't walk like long distances, you know, I can't walk upstairs like long distances because of my feet and my legs. And because of my legs, my muscles and my legs they're very weak and I got told on when I was younger that um because when I walk somewhere or when I go up the stairs or just like walking somewhere like long distance my legs would actually give out my legs would give out and because of that long because of that weak muscle and because I did not have that surgery um my my muscles give out and my doctor said that the pain that you have that sudden pain that you have like a spasm like going up your leg 
you will probably have that for the rest of your life because you did not have that surgery and you know I mean you know I was always told you know that you know it would be my choice you know if I if I do want surgery if I did have the surgery or whatever but I'm not getting surgery so I chose to not get surgery and I chose to um like suffer through that pain so um yeah but um and um, I was on a walker when I was little, and, um, I was, uh, like, totally disabled when I was younger, and so any of you that is on a walker or in a wheelchair, you know, or, you know, like, I just want to tell you, like, please stay strong, and please, like, message me like down below you know um in my email that i'm gonna put down below please message me and i would love to chat with you about that and i just want you to like stay strong and please be encouraged and um don't let anything get you down and it is hard i know it i know it is hard it's very hard if you're getting physical therapy like right now for anything not just your legs but like for like just anything like a broken bone or anything I know how hard physical therapy is it's demanding it's hard you want to give up some days but please do not give up please don't um and so uh about my back I've been having back pain since I was 18 and the thing about that is I have not been in a car accident I have not been in like just like a major accident it started happening when i was 18 and um i started like um like having like like little spasms here and there and then it gradually increased to like more and more pain and um and so but what i do remember is in third grade i um like you know on a playground that swirly thing that swirls around and you go down yeah I fell off of that and I literally hit my back like I literally fell and and like I landed on the wood chips like hard and like I was literally like legit paralyzed for like one like one or two minutes because I couldn't even move like that that hurt it so bad i couldn't even move but like i landed on the wood chips and then like i was hurting and then i like after that i set up and i sat down on the um on the playground and you the funny thing about it is there was a teacher like on the playground and there was a lot of chaos going on but it's like my teacher did not see me fall or if she did she did not come over to help me or anything so I don't know it there was so many people around that um that um that it was easy for somebody to see me fall but I mean whatever I apparently they didn't see me fall so anyway um and then plus I was get I was getting bullied at the time so I mean nobody nobody wanted to help me anyway but anyway so um but that's that's all that I remember about what did happen to my back I'm pretty sure falling on those wood chips like it wasn't just a fall it was hard the impact was hard to where it left me paralyzed for about like one or two minutes and it was I don't know if I injured something in my lower back or something because I am 21 years old and I should not be having pain like this I should not be having you know like a young person you know like I'm not saying that you know all young people is not allowed to hurt I'm not saying that I'm just saying that is so weird it is so weird that you know 
that how many like diseases and how many you know like sickness young people have and it's really sad and you know you got babies with heart defects you know you got kids that don't walk you got kids that are blind you got kids that have arthritis you know and I and I see that you know um I see that um all the time you know when I was volunteering at the hospital you know at at my hospital that I volunteer at you know and um it's really sad what kids go through and so um but um but that's what happened to my back and my legs um I just wanted to put like I just wanted to uh do a more like in-depth detail about my legs and about what happened to me um so whenever I say like in a future video like my legs are hurting or like my back is hurting like that's what happened and I wanted to tell you guys that so um anyway um I will come back with another video um maybe later on today or tomorrow I don't know but um but anyway um I will see you guys later on. Peace.